And New Zealand has reopened its borders to vaccinated Australians today after being closed off during most of the pandemic. TVNZ reporter Jordan Rudd joins us now from Auckland. Jordan, g'day. So you're not actually at the airport, but you've had a team there. Have they been kind of swamped by hordes of Aussie tourists or it hasn't been too bad? Yeah, well, as you said, my team have been there and I've been watching the footage rolling into our newsroom and it's just the best part of your job, isn't it? Those gorgeous reunions, hugs are plenty and uh, there wasn't a dry eye in the house with Fano and friends you, reuniting. Many of them haven't seen each other since the pandemic began. So pretty heartwarming scenes this morning, Joe. And how many flights are getting in today and is, is there going to be a real kind of rush of these flights over the next couple of weeks or is it being is it kind of gradually easing in? So Auckland Airport is expecting around 3,000 visitors today, including a first flight from Melbourne, which touched down around 1 o'clock this morning. It's not just Auckland, though. Wellington and Christchurch will see some flights coming in today too. Our national carrier, Air New Zealand, has 11 near-full flights arriving from all across Australia, so Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth and Sydney. It's also added an extra 96 trans-Tasman flights from now through until June, which is an increase of approximately 20,000 seats. Plus, if you're travelling between April 15th and the 25th, you'll get a little Easter treat, a wee hot crust bun, just to make that trip a little bit sweeter and something else to look forward to. And love to hear that uh, very New Zealand description of a wee hot crust bun there. And Jordan, it's interesting to see you there in your mask because here in Australia, we were kind of at that stage several months ago where our masks were very apparent in all sorts of situations, but they're much less apparent now. Uh, so what stage is New Zealand at in terms of the reopening? So yes, as you mentioned, the next step in our reopening, we've, also, we've got this name of Fortress New Zealand, it's gradually, it's slowly happening. Uh, the next stage will be in just a few weeks time on May the 1st, where vaccinated visitors from over 50 visa waiver countries are allowed in, plus visitors from other countries who already hold valid visitor visas. And from October, all visa categories will reopen, including visitor and student visas. So there are a lot more of those airport reunions to come in the next few months. And so if there are Australians watching now and thinking, oh, yeah, I'd love to go to New Zealand, that's the first place I want to go, what are your tips on what Australians have got to do before, what have they got to organise before they actually fly into New Zealand? Yes, so you must have a pre-departure test done. That can be a PCR no more than 48 hours before your flight or a supervised rapid antigen test no more than 24 hours before your flight. You'll also have to do a RAT on arrival and be vaccinated unless exempt. Also, just get here. It's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it's not beautiful at the moment, uh, Joy, but New Zealand is beautiful. Joy, and you're sitting in a newsroom. It doesn't look that season. pretty. You like my pitch? <laughs> Oh, no, the newsroom's not so pretty, but I promise you outside it is, so you should get here. Good Particularly stuff. you, Jo, I look forward uh, to seeing you here soon. Definitely, and yeah, I'd love to get into Queenstown. I reckon that'll, that's high on my list. Um, now, just in terms of businesses, how we've, I, we've chatted to one uh, New Zealand business over the past couple of months just on how tough it's been there because uh, tourism is such a huge industry in New Zealand. How much has domestic travel filled that gap uh, for over this last couple of months, sort of a couple of years in New Zealand in terms of locals getting around and travelling? Um, but how, how much of a benefit will this be for so many businesses in New Zealand now that the borders are starting to reopen? Yes, domestic travel has filled a gap, but not quite what we saw pre-COVID. Aussies made up around 40% of all tourists coming here. So this announcement today will bring a much needed boost for an industry screaming out for help. One uh, a company we spoke to earlier this morning on our morning show Breakfast said the last month has been the hardest for them uh, out of the whole two years in terms of customer numbers. So getting you guys here will bring a major boost and we can't wait to see you all. I'm also told uh, that Aussies travel more to, to ski more than any other country uh, so we can't wait to see you on the slope soon. Good stuff. Thanks so much for the invitation and from your spectacularly beautiful newsroom there in Auckland, Jordan Rudd there uh, having a chat to us from Auckland.